So people who are overweight have a higher chance of developing MS. And people who have MS, who are overweight, tend to have more active disease and a faster onset of progression. The main diet has been shown to be neuroprotective is the Mediterranean diet. And this diet is high in fish, vegetables and nuts, and low in red meat. So this question comes up a lot because patients who have multiple sclerosis can sometimes get a transient worsening of their symptoms in heat or if they exercise strenuously. The important thing to note is that heat does not cause an MS attack or MS relapse. And so it's not dangerous. You're not doing any permanent damage if this occurs. Exercise is strongly recommended and is protective to the brain and spinal cord. Scientists do not yet know which stem cells are beneficial in MS, what route to give them, or what dose to give them, and what frequency. So at the moment, stem cell treatments are not recommended outside of the context of a clinical trial. Neuromyelitis optica spectrum disorder, or NMOSD, and MOG-associated disorder can give features similar to multiple sclerosis. These are more common in people of Asian or African-American ethnicity, and your doctor may recommend blood tests to exclude these disorders. Well, the first drug approved by the FDA for treatment of multiple sclerosis was in 1993. Since then, over 20 drugs have become available for treatment of MS, and the potency of these drugs has increased over time to the point where we can almost completely suppress the inflammatory component of the disease. This would not be possible if patients like you did not enroll in research studies. There are many different types of research studies, not just drug trials, but also observational studies, as all of these enhance our understanding of the disease, hopefully to lead to even better cures for multiple sclerosis. Well, the most important thing about having a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis is that you are at the center of your medical team. A comprehensive MS center is the best place for management of multiple sclerosis. And this typically includes physicians with expertise in multiple sclerosis, neurologists, but also urologists, physiatrists or physical medicine rehabilitation providers, psychologists, and many other providers who have specialty interest in multiple sclerosis. Engaging this team around you and your particular needs will improve your outcomes over time.